Hi, everyone. This is Mike. I want to talk to you about a, a way to automate the process of backing up the normal template from Microsoft Word. Um, this is for Windows. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to do this for Mac just yet. Here's some quick background. The normal template in Word contains your macros, your keyboard shortcuts, and other things that you have stored that are outside the scope of a single document. By default, it's in a place like this. C users, then your Windows username, app data, roaming, Microsoft templates. You can see up here, there's the normal dot, dot M file. Obviously, you can just copy this. Anytime you want to make a copy, a backup of it, you can copy it to some folder. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how you don't have to worry about doing that manually. You can just have a process do that. Uh, in our case, every 12 hours, which is to say twice a day. All right. Uh, you're going to need two tools for this. One is a programming language called PowerShell which is a language built into Windows that allows you to automate various tasks. Um, you don't have to know anything about PowerShell at all. I've done all of that for you. It's actually quite simple. Let me show you the script that you're gonna run that does the backup. Okay, here it is in a notepad file. Um, all it really does is it, it looks at this, it finds the source file. So that's this app data, followed by Microsoft templates, normal.m. And it's going to copy it to a destination file. Uh, for purposes of this, I've, I'm setting it up so that it always copies it to something called C colon backslash backup. You can change that if you want. Um, the other thing it does, in addition to simply copying the file, is it, it timestamps the backup file. So every time it runs this script, it creates a new version of the normal.m file that has in the file name the year, the month, the date, the hour, and the minute that the backup occurred. So you will accumulate backups of your normal.m file and you can go back to any particular one that you need. But the actual work here is this copy item command that takes it from the source file to the destination file. All right. I have this script uh, on my website in a blog, blog post, but also, um, and the blog post is linked in the comments, but also um, I'm gonna just stick it into a comment in this video so that you can just grab it yourself. Uh, I think it's important for you to understand there's nothing tricky here. Uh, you can have anybody look at it, you know, if you're nervous about running it. Um, so I'm gonna let you create the script. I'm not gonna tell you to just download it from my site or anything like that. Okay. Uh, I said I was going to have you put everything into SQL and back, back up, so we have to create that. So uh, starting at the C drive in your machine, uh, create a new folder and name it backup. Okay, all set. Uh, brand new folder, so of course nothing is in that folder right now. We'll fix that in a minute. Um, I've got the script. I've copied it into Notepad, and what I'll do is I'll save it to the backup folder. Um, I'm going to quickly run over here and get the right name because it's important. It's, everything I'm doing is predicated on getting the name right here. So, okay, I'm going to name this file back hyphen up hyphen normal hyphen normal, uh, sorry, template backup normal template dot ps1. ps1 is the extension that PowerScript recognizes as a script. Okay, I'm going to save that. So again, I started in Notepad with a blank document. I pasted it in the script and then I saved it to backup normal template.ps1 in the backup folder. All right, that's like that's it for the whole PowerShell part of it. Uh, other than that, you want to test this. I want to make sure this works for your machine. Uh, for example, is your template in the same location that the script assumes it is? Okay, the way to do that is to run a command. Uh, Command looks like this. Hang on just a second while I copy this so I can get it right. We'll up in, uh, another instance of Notepad and show it to you so that you can see what it looks like before I run it. Okay, so the command that, I, that you can use to test your new PowerShell script is PowerShell shell exe, and then I'm gonna skip over this for just a second, and then the file that you want it to run is C backup. Sorry, backup, backup normal.ps1. There's a thing in the middle here that says execution policy bypass. So PowerShell has some security features built into it so that it won't just run arbitrary scripts. What this execution policy bypass parameter says is for purposes of this script, 
you can bypass the locked down execution policy, which is okay because you created C backup, backup normal template.ps1. Okay. Um, the way to test this is to copy this and open up a command window. So go to, um, sorry, go to search in Windows and just type in CMD to open up a command prompt. Okay, and then you can just paste that command in, PowerShell, execution policy bypass, and then the name of the file. And it ran, okay, good. No like scary red text or anything like that. And indeed, if I go to the backup folder, the one that I just created, I now have this normal.m file with the date in the middle, 2021. May 2nd and then 4.02 p.m. All right, good. So the command works. We're done with PowerShell. I'm gonna close the command window. All right, the next thing to do is to schedule this command, this PowerShell command, so that it runs on interval. And to do that, you use ask scheduler. So again, I'm gonna Windows key S to, um, to find task scheduler and I'll you can see there's a task scheduler app, so I'll run that. In fact, let me, let me do that again, because this, this part may not be super clear. Go to Windows search and then type in task scheduler, and then you see the task scheduler, scheduler app, click that. Okay, so here we go. Bring that task scheduler over here. All right. Uh, so again, what we're doing here is we're gonna create a task that runs every 12 hours to to run that PowerShell command that you just created. All right, so there's a whole library of these um, tasks that are already uh, on your machine. A bunch of different programs have already established those. What I'm gonna have you do is right click this task scheduler library uh, folder and create a new folder. And you can call it whatever you want, tasks. And you know, this is optional, you can put it wherever you want, but this is just to make it easier later if you ever wanna find this script or this task again. Okay, so we've got our new My Tasks folder. So then select that, right click and choose Create Task. Okay, so this is where the fun is gonna happen. All right, you have to give it a name. Backup. Uh, it, the, the only thing that matters about that is that it has to be unique within that one folder. Um, I actually have, uh, you don't have to do this, but you can add it description that uh, lets you understand, you know, look later at what you're doing. I'm going to do that. Um, it's optional. You don't have to do it. I'm not going to type it. You don't want to watch me do that. Okay. So we've essentially created our tasks. Don't click OK just yet. We need to do two additional things. One is to specify the action. So what is it that we want to run on a schedule? And then in a minute, we'll do the triggers, which is how often we want it to run. So let's start with actions. Go to the actions tab here in this create task dialog box. Um, and it will create a new action. All right. So what is the program that we want to run? We want it to run PowerShell. Taxi. Um, and then we have to give it that additional information from the command line that I was showing you earlier, um, which you tested earlier at the command line to make sure it works. So you just put that stuff into the add arguments box here. And it's the same thing that we just did, execution policy bypass, and then the file parameter followed by the full path to that PS1 file that you created a little bit earlier. Um, the, the parameters have to be in this order for PowerShell to work, right? Okay, so that's it. That's for the, the new action. So we can click OK here. Now we have a new action. Um, okay, and then now that we've got an action defined, let's schedule it. So we go to the triggers uh, tab here in the create task uh, dialog box and create a new trigger. Not really going to have to do very much here either. What you really want to do is set the interval. So you do that by coming down here to repeat task every. This looks like it's a drop down, but you can actually type in this box as well. What I'll tell you is type in 12 hours, in other words, twice a day. And then for a duration of, and what I'm going to say here is make that duration indefinitely. So what this now says is you get a, this task is going to be repeated every 12 hours 
indefinitely. And just double check this checkbox says enabled. Uh, that enabled is enabled. <laughs> All right, so that's that. You have created your scheduled task. You've told it what the action was to do, and you've indicated how often it should happen. Okay, so we know the PowerShell command works because we tested it. The last thing to do then is to make sure that this scheduled task works. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that you select the task in the window, right click it, and just click Run. Whoops, PowerShell window flashes briefly. And if we go look at the backup folder, you can see that we now have a second backup file, uh, May 2nd, and then it says uh, 4.07 PM. So we've made two copies. All right, so now you've got it set up so that it will run every 12 hours. My suggestion to you is that you let this run for a couple of days and then come back and make sure that you are getting um, new copies of the normal.m file in this backup folder uh, twice a day. But that's it. Um, from now on, you'll automate the process of backing up your normal file and you can sleep well at night knowing that your macros are safe. That's it. Thanks very much.